Hi, Ana Maria, welcome. Thank you for joining us for this conversation. So you came here at the Quantum Matter 2023 International Conference. And I would like to ask a little bit of question about your research and your career path. Um, so you are working on controlling quantum systems and applying them. Um, so could you explain a little bit what this research is about and how it can contribute on the field? Yes, well, thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here. Well, uh, it's a very exciting time for us, but our work is trying to use atoms and light and control these systems with various applications that range from metrology and quantum information, in quantum information, quantum simulation, and of course, quantum computing. So basically what we want to do is to use pristine systems that we can control and manipulate in the lab, like atoms, molecules, ions, and then um, arrange them in different configurations, in different geometries, in different situations, to, uh, and use them for uh, help us understand the complex behavior of quantum many body systems. So you work more on the theoretical part, of course, since you are a theoretical physicist, but you are also in connection with the real experiments. Yes, exactly. That's the very exciting part. So what we do is we do the theoretical modeling. We guide experiments and tell them what are the parameter regime that they have to operate in order to see the expected behaviors. You have also been working on atomic clocks and metrology, as you mentioned. How do these two fields connect? It's, they are very tightly connected. So the idea, most of the atoms that we use are the ones that are the basis of the atomic clocks. These are strontium atoms because they are very long-lived. And the idea is that the clock um, allows us to interrogate very precise two internal levels in these atoms. So the idea is that the clocks are so precise that um, we want to um, minimize the effects of interactions because for clocks, interactions are bad. But on the other hand, uh, by in understanding the interactions, we can use the clocks to shed light on the complex quantum behavior. So it's really a marriage between trying to use the clocks for precision measurements and better time keeping, but also to make clocks better by understanding many body physics and the, this feedback cycle. I see, very fascinating. And uh, uh, talking about the fascination, you were, um, you discovered the passion for physics and science very early, I, I read so. Um, but also it was not easy because you were in Colombia and developing a successful career as the one you have. Uh, you had to leave uh, Colombia, uh, Colombia sorry, and move to the US. Could you give us a, a glimpse into your career? Yes, exactly. Well, I mean, I think Colombia was great in the sense that I had fantastic education. I mean, the, I did, since early stages of my life, I knew that I love math. I wanted to use math to translate the behavior or explain the behavior of how things move and so forth. Um, and then I, I did my, my, my bachelor program at the University of Los Andes when I had great teachers and they told me I, I, this is the, what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, but in order to do that, in fact, I, I had to leave Colombia, leave my family. That is, of course, very hard. Uh, but um, and I, have, I went to the US where I received a lot of support in my career. And what I'm trying to do is trying to, from the U.S., trying to help as much as possible, make connections with Colombia and trying to foster the science education. Collaboration. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Um, what are the milestones? What do you consider milestones of your career? Yes. Well, I mean, in the context of atomic clocks, we want, we need to understand the many body interactions in order to make clocks better. And this is something that we have done with very, very successfully. Well, so perhaps one of the milestones is that we predict a specific configuration where the interactions were going to suppress and allow the clocks to measure gravitational redshift in a millimeter sample. And that wow. happened. Mm -hmm. Great, congratulations. Um, so coming back to the field of uh, quantum materials and quantum computing, this is certainly the potential to revolutionize our world. Um, so what do you think, uh, what's your vision in, about this field? What do you think the next steps are? Yeah, well, I think definitely metrology is the first important quantum application uh, that we will have uh, in realistic terms. Uh, so the idea that we use quantum effects 
to create even better sensors, and this is already happening in the lab, but happened at LIGO for the gravitational wave detection. But now we have to do it in a more, uh, I mean, with using fully controllable systems. So I think this is the first milestone. Mm -hmm. And with that, I think there has been great progress on the control of atoms array superconducting qubits. So maybe develop better gates, better the um, way to control and manipulate these systems. And I think even though it might be challenged to create a full fault tolerant quantum computer in the next five years, mm -hmm. I think all the developments, all the signs that we are going to um, um, yes, develop materialize in order for that to happen will also have its own important output. So um, yeah, we have the goal, but through that, we are going to develop uh, very important other, new aspects other of applications also. Yes, that we don't know yet. So I yeah. think it's the idea that as you progress in one direction, you mm. might push other directions that you didn't imagine before. And yes, I'm of very course. optimistic that this will happen. So is this your uh, final, no final goal? I mean, long term goal for your career? What are the questions that you want to Well, I mean, I out? want to use the precision of clocks to shed light on fundamental questions of our universe. Maybe clocks can tell us about dark matter, um, unification between quantum gravity and quantum, uh, between gravity and quantum mechanics. So this could be wow. something that hopefully in the next few years we make clocks so precise that we can have an answer. Let's see. Certainly intriguing, yeah. Uh, finally, I would like to ask you what you would say to young scientists who are moving their first steps in the field, this field. Yeah, well, first, work in the things that you love, that you are passionate about, and work very hard. Because only with hard working, uh, you can get all the skills and the progress that needed to be successful. But if you work hard and love what you do, you can do it. The competition is hard. The competition is hard, but passion can always do great things. So, and this is what happened to no, me. I work very hard, and I think if, if you do it, and actually, yes, you, are, you can do it. You have a brilliant career. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And enjoy the rest of the conference. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank My you. Bye. Pleasure.